my work as an artist, within my life as an artist, it all started uh, kind of officially at age 11 when I got my first oil paints. I had been, yeah, like everyone, drawing all of my life since I could hold a pencil. And uh, my father bought me oil paints because he saw uh, painting of racehorses that I did stealing my sister's uh, school assignment paints. Anyway, uh, I was told that I'd need to study hard at physics and chemistry and maths and that would be my hobby. So out to the separator shed I went, I lived in the country. It was a small town and everybody knew everyone. But in high school, all the teachers um, knew everyone and the kids knew everyone and my one of my best friend's dad belonged to an art group locally who exhibited all the time and so did the wife of my maths teacher and another lady that used to be the art teacher at the school and long story short they actually nurtured me and they recognised that I was a creative spirit that was being herded towards the left side um, by my parents and the principal. So they actually invited me to ex exhibit with them when I was uh, 14 and that was a huge impetus um, for my for my confidence and for my own sort of di autodidactic part, my own self-driven learning. Um, I still stuck to what I was uh, raised to do and I studied in the sciences, intensive care nursing, worked as a clinical nurse specialist, studied my therapy, had my own practice, meanwhile art. You know, was a hobby all of that time and it really wasn't until during one of my trips traveling and I used to travel all the time it's really all I wanted to do as a kid was paint and travel that was what I wanted to do um, and during one of my trips I ended up living in South America and that's really where my life living as an artist I'd never thought of it as a way to earn a living a way to make money it was my passion and that's where it should stay <laughs> but anyway things changed life took me in that direction uh, in Brazil and then when I returned uh, three years later to Australia, I just thought, you know what? Um, if I can do this in another country, in another language, you know, I'm going to give up whatever I have to give up and uh, live what I love here in Australia. Tell us a bit about your work here at Port Arthur. I've been nine years in this studio. Uh, my life here consists of my own work as an artist. I can show you more of that in the front gallery later. So I run a gallery, I represent other artists. Uh, I have a framing studio in the front and I have um, workshops and classes for both adults and kids. My uh, Melbourne series started soon after I got back from overseas and you know I paint Melbourne skylines with views of the lake, the ocean, the Yarra. Most of us focused around the waterways of Melbourne and you know, sometimes they you know, they show the features of Melbourne and focal points that people love. Some of the well-known scenes, sometimes they're a little bit more abstracted and obscure in those skylines that just imply the city or the warmth of a summer evening on the Yarra. I love painting the ocean. Um, I've always painted the ocean. Uh, ever since I first saw it, I think I was 12 when I first saw the ocean. So I love waves, I love the movement of the ocean, I love the effect that light and sun has on the water and I love uh, snorkeling and diving. Sometimes I paint people when I paint the ocean, but not usually, they're usually just the, the water itself, the beautiful movement of the water. Figures is something that I've painted all of my life. In fact, I started you know, by drawing the girl next to me in class when I finished my work. And uh, most of my paintings of figures are a bit autobiographical, um, albeit uh, not realistic at times, <laughs> in terms of uh, what they're talking about. There's some of paint, I paint my family, I paint myself, I paint, I do like the female form, but I have painted um, the male form. I, I don't do life drawing just for the sake of it, I usually like moments, moments in time and feelings. I, I usually like to record emotions and and feelings and I love it sometimes I work in oils sometimes in acrylic sometimes in mixed media and that's what I love